Hello. Just stepping out of the car beside uh, another highway. I'm actually on the rest stop, so uh, it's just about midnight. Uh, very sleepy, and uh, still at least another hour of driving to do. Probably hour and a half. I don't know if you'll be able to see this little dandelion here in the headlights. But I'm just going to walk around this tree. It's pretty cold out. I don't have my hat on or a jacket. Obviously, shorts on. That's, that's all that we have. So I'm just walking around this tree. I'm very tired. Yeah, I'm going to start shivering in a moment. But I have a certain intention, right? I'm, like, I'm holding the phone, you know, trying to aim it at me with uh, the thought that maybe my voice will be a little clearer because of the traffic. Uh, I think if I had the phone aiming at other things, combine the fact that it's not aimed at me with the traffic, I imagine you might not be able to hear me. So that's intentional. It was intentional just there and I wipe my nose. Already my nose is dripping. And of course it's intentional that I'm placing my feet where I where I am. But the yawns are not intentional. And the shivering is not intentional. In fact, I can already feel probably can't see but my shoulders just started to lift a little and so I thought it'd be a nice opportunity to kind of tune into the the difference you know at the same time my body is doing consciously caused things and unconsciously caused things so there's an autonomic system at work I want to see if I can tune into that. So that now I'm shivering. <sighs> Whew. So that they. <sighs> the non consciously directed actions, what we may call reactions of the body are present while there are purposely caused actions present. I continue to step as they circumambulate, continue to hold the camera. You know, I'm sure a bunch of other things I'm purposely doing, holding my head a certain way, speaking. But of course I mentioned the shivering. It's a little unusual to do that. My nose is running. I'm yawning. But in the same in the same category as breathing and digestion, for example. And so I won't do this meditation very long because <laughs> it's rather cold to me here. But I'm doing this on purpose to see if I can ascertain, tune into, reference the two different systems. There is what I'm causing my body to do, and there is when I'm not and I'm hoping that just as a drought may make you appreciate the rain just as
something lost may help you to appreciate its presence. I'm hoping that by coming out here and inviting some particular, perhaps a little unusual, autonomic actions helps me recognize other things in that category, such as I said, breathing, digestion, for example. And by having some consciously created and continuous actions, like, you know, I'm still circumambulating, I'm still walking around the same tree, avoiding these same, avoiding these same, uh, dandelions. Turn left to merge onto CT 15 South toward NYC. As I step, I'm hoping to gain some insight into some aspect of my consciousness, which I believe may be causing the yawn, the shiver, among other things. It's not my usual level of waking, waking consciousness. I think there is a consciousness directing that. So I'm in this situation, inviting this experience. With the idea that you can start to feel that difference. So, I expect you'll have more luck if you're sitting at home where it's warm and doing this. But I'm gonna bow to the tree and dandelion. Yeah, I am going to. In 10 feet, take exit 44 towards CT 58 in Fairfield. Take you exit 44. Probably can hear that. The GPS is telling us where to go. But I'm gonna. See if this Duria has led me to some warmth <laughs> and insight. And I'm gonna actually get into the car where we hope that there is some quiet and some warmth. <sighs> yeah, it's a little dark, but woo. <sighs> I think. I think I'm going to be uh, shivering for a while, but I hope that was insightful. I don't know if I repeated myself or finished the thought. Has it got to me to feel quick holes? So, thank you. Sorry for the <laughs> lack of image stabilization. <laughs> uh, okay, thank you.